Hi guys, we got another <laughs> cookie video for ya. So another cookie video means it's close to Christmas, yay! But this time we're gonna have a little fun and we're gonna spice it up. We got some snickerdoodle cookies and we got some dark chocolate peanut butter buckeyes. And we have one cut open so you can see the inside. It's just pure peanut butter, baby. So let's get to cooking. And we're back. And you guys just saw me walk through each cookie step by step. So I do have some tips for you when you're cooking these. With the Snickerdoodle cookies, 
you saw that I did ball them up and I spread them out a little, but if you don't wanna spread them out at all, you could just do a ball because they will spread in the oven. The other cookies, the chocolate fudge and the maple macadamia, those don't spread in the oven, so you wanna make those as big as you want them. But for these, you can just even do a ball or you can flatten them out really thin and then they'll become more of a crispy cookie. You saw that we used the brown sugar for the snickerdoodle cookies. Uh, we highly recommend it. It's a great product to have just in the house. We got ours at Whole Foods. We'll, we'll we will link the brown sugar Truvia in the comments for you. But if you don't have it, you don't wanna go out and buy it, you can feel free to omit it and just, you know, the cinnamon will create a snickerdoodle flavor. So, you know, there's no loss there. You don't have to use it, um, but it will change the coloring especially. It won't be as brown of your cookie. It'll be more of a whiter cookie, but still just as delicious. And then when it comes to the peanut butter balls, you saw me put the peanut butter filling in the freezer for about an hour. So the longer you can put it in the freezer for, the better it'll be, because when you're rolling the balls, the heat from your hands will make the peanut butter dough, like the, the filling melted, so it'll be harder to mix it into the chocolate. Freeze it for as long as you can wait, and then also when you do roll it in the chocolate, make sure the chocolate's not like steaming hot, and try to get off as much as you can so that when you do put it on um, your parchment paper for then back into the fridge or freezer, it won't pull at the bottom like it did here. Um, we're still gonna eat them, they're still just as delicious, but if you want more of the ball look, just don't um, coat them so heavily in the chocolate. Or you can even drizzle some on. So for the peanut butter balls, we used Baker's chocolate. Um, this one is 100% cacao so it's unsweetened so it is very bitter i'm not a fan but matt loves it so we always have a bunch in the house it is great for baking for adding to uh cookies or using um in the buckeyes like we did here but just so you are aware it is very bitter so if you do want a sweeter coating of chocolate you can also add erythritol or any sweetener even stevia drops to the melted uh, Baker's chocolate before you coat the peanut butter balls. We also like to have this in the house. It's Lily's dark chocolate. We get this at Whole Foods as well. Um, it's 55% cacao though, so it is sweet. It's not as bitter as the Baker's. Um, just look at the label though, because it does have more carbs. So half of this bar, half of this bar has four net carbs when uh, two of these pieces has one net carb. So you've just seen all four of our Christmas or holiday cookies, and we hope you do make them and you enjoy them, and please let us know which ones are your favorite. I personally like the maple macadamia nut, and I'm pretty sure Matt loves the chocolate fudge, but you know, we're not gonna discriminate, we'll eat them all during the holidays. So definitely subscribe, comment below, let us know what kind of cookies you, ma you are making for the holidays, or if you're gonna do any variations on these, uh, we'd love to hear from you. So have a wonderful holiday, we'll see you guys soon.